Okay. So we'll open the meeting for Monday, March 28th. Uh, entertain a motion to accept the agenda as may be amended. So moved. Mm -hmm. uh, does anybody have anything? No. Nope. I get to see him on Thursday, so I tell him what I might have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We so. get to see him on Monday mornings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's too late to change it. It's too late to change it. Uh, okay. All in favor of the agenda is presented. Please say aye. 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 Uh, motion for, we have two sets of minutes, I believe. Well, we have one set here. Well, maybe this is, oh, you know what it was? I was looking at. Yeah, there's one set, the 14th. Minutes of the last one. Yeah. I make a motion to approve the minutes of March 14th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm good with it because. Oh, yeah. I get to see that. <laughs> yeah. Early, too. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, yeah. She. Uh, she did the draft, but then she forgot mm -hmm. to send it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I'm good with that. Okay. Yeah, I had nothing in yeah. there. I'm in favor of the minutes of September. March, uh, March 14th. <coughs> you yeah. say aye. 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 I'm really getting ahead of this. Oh, September. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, <clears throat> so are we adopting the rules of procedure? Yeah, it's just the uh, annual. Rules of procedure. Mm -hmm. There's no change from what it was right. in the past. You have to adopt it every year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, that's my, and then we have to sign off on it. And it's basically the process that the chair mm -hmm. or, and who's, who does what when. So just number six, I mean, we're not going to follow it. Um, I mean, we're going to follow it. The first sentence, each select board meeting shall have an agenda. With time allotted for each item of business to be considered by the select board, we just go, we roll with right. what it takes. It yeah. takes whatever time so, it is. Okay. And um, number five, um, public comment issues discussed by the select board. If not offered during the open public comment period, may be offered during the meeting with the permission of the chair. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things where I said, you know, it's... If somebody has something, they can raise their hand or ask or whatever, and we yeah. can recognize them for it. Right. Okay. We're go I'm saying we're going to allow it. It doesn't have to be right. may or may not. So. I don't think right. we've gotten that much public comment for 10 minutes no. or more. So. No. So, so, so we, we shouldn't limit it. Let people, yeah. you know, do it. And then also yeah. just um, in the future for the minutes, and maybe you have it on here or whatever, but. No, at the, you know, before exact, before other oh, we were going to have another, just have it in there saying, give the public in case they kept quiet during the whole another. conversation and all of a sudden oh, go, more I wish I would have had time to say something. That's what they do at the school uh, board. <clears throat> See, the way I read it is when we ask the question, we say, do you have anything that's not on the agenda? Right. But then this says, comment on issues discussed by the board. Right. So then anybody, the chair, like the lady that had the, this, the thing last mm -hmm. week. Yeah. We invite people into Right. Talk about what's on the agenda. Right. But well, you're That's saying the at the I end of. Uh, but I'm also saying after other business. After, after other yeah. business, oh, we could just, just say put another citizens before we close, yeah. before we we close, close out. Yeah. Hey, you know, yeah. is there something that all you know? I mean, there, there are times where it's like, oh, I wish I would have said this. And yes. I agree. I don't yeah. want to wait till the next meeting two weeks mm -hmm. later. Okay. We we'll try to be fair. So, but that's not in the rules. That's just you setting the agenda. Right. So just have an automatic agenda. So you need a motion. You go ahead, Chris. We need a motion and everybody has to we sign. We need a motion to okay. adopt this. Yeah. Motion to adopt the rules of procedure. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. You, you want sign any one of them. It doesn't matter. Right. Just pass around. Okay. Are there select board member concerns? Nothing that's on here right no. now. No, yeah, it's not here already. And the creature is not on. She's not yet. She's but not, no, she won't be. Oh, um, so is there anyone that is uh, zoomed in that has concern or something they want to bring up? Or also you guys? That's all. This I'm just here to answer. Hi, Kurt, Jan, Kurt's or Wynn? Kurt's got a thumb down, okay. so that must mean no. Jan, you have anything? Or Rich? No. Jim. Okay. This computer is still coming up. <laughs> okay. Wit, you're good, right? 
Yep, I'm all good. Okay. Okay. And are you doing liquor control? You have the list in there. They're yeah. all renewals. Yeah. Okay. They're all up to date. And then there was one we were going to talk about. Oh, you've about. got the same Yeah, list. so okay. I just want to. No, I thought I had the only list. I'm going to make a motion to approve the um, liquor license renewal applications. It's in front of us for the meeting of March 28th. Allow the town clerk to move forward. Um, there's no changes on any of them. Nope. from this past year. The last enforcement is all good. Um, the only, I, I'm going to make that motion. I make that motion. It's just you and I anyway, okay, um, from there. And then I have a comment afterwards. After, or maybe I'll make the comment before, just so you know. So, like, the garlic has outside consumption, two of them. Mm -hmm. We've allowed, because of the pandemic, um, out in the parking lot mm -hmm. area or whatever, yeah. um, I think we should keep it for this year, even though they still say it's there's a pandemic, it's not down from a pandemic. Mm -hmm. The Planning Commission is looking to change the parking regulations or whatever also for so amount of cars. Yeah. So it's still in there. But mm -hmm. this will be the last year that hopefully that we will have to so. say that, yeah. okay? But yeah. we're gonna let it go through this year. So that includes like the lookout, because um, he has out in front. That doesn't include your places, which you don't get to vote anyway, because you came in for the original mm -hmm. actual permit for that extra area there. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, the only thing, or, the only comment that I would make is, <clears throat> I don't know if this is the, where there's two here, and Lucretia would be able to define it, but. Sometimes, like, they have a smoking area out back from the bar, right. that's one, yeah. and then you have another one out front, okay, right where they're serving. The no, where they're serving on the deck. Oh, on the deck. That the deck, has yeah. to be, and it would be great if that could be under one, as it is right now. Like, mm -hmm. the last time, I think, with Jack's, I got three outside consumption permits. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not worried about the twenty dollars, but it's like three different licenses mm -hmm. that you have to right. on top of right. the other two you already have. So, so this one I know for Brian that's in front of us mm -hmm. is for out on his front steps there that he serves dinner. I think it's also for the smoking area out back too. I would oh, guess no. this is there. And oh, then, he wants it. And then he, he had the parking lot. He didn't actually. even though he didn't do it. Okay, he, he know better. Even though he didn't do it, he still wants to have it in case he, he has, has to smart. do it. That but he doesn't have smoking yeah. in the back okay. right for, now. The, for the marble challenge. So yeah. okay. And so. Uh, the one question I have: How long is an enforcement seminar good for? It's good for two years. Then the first one on the list is beyond the two-year period. Their last enforcement seminar was March 4th, 2020. And it's good till March 4th, 2022. Yeah, and so it's good for two years. So and the garlic is good for April 7th, 2020. <laughs> 22, yeah. 22. They're good till, well, they're good till next week or whatever. Usually when they're close like that, mm -hmm. like they, they'll, she flagged them with me before, but she also, like, the state will flag them, too, like you do. Okay, so I'll make a friendly amendment that we ask the town clerk to just see if they've signed up for Well, all we're doing is making a motion for the town clerk to, to move forward. forward. Right. But please take a look at yeah. Yeah. these first two that first were two done in 2020 before you, you know. Yeah. But, so the motion is for the town clerk to move forward with looking into the first <coughs> two on the um, enforcement, the last enforcement seminars. Okay, we're good there? Yeah. Okay, all in favor of that, please say aye. Aye. Abstain. So I'll give you this. Hey, do, you have a, do, you have, you do have a copy of it, okay. That's the uh, mobile challenge. One other for the mobile challenge. Yeah, and this is not really a, a, a motion. This is just the, the town clerk letting us know that mm -hmm. there's an outside consumption permit right. for Killington restaurants, for Bear Mountain base lodge, for the Killington Mountain Lodge, we don't, no. we, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's okay for the town clerk to move forward yep. mm -hmm. with the outside consumption permit. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because two weeks ago they had the beer fest, the brew fest for outside the building also. Yeah. I thought we were giving the resort a blanket for... Yeah, I think 
the blanket was, I don't know if it's because of where it is, it's all in that same area, but this one's over at Bear Mountain. I'm not sure why this one's separate. Okay. When you, I think when you define the area, yeah. it needs to be posted with the and state. This, yeah. And this one, the area has been oh, it's moved slightly modified. Area. That's and why they're here. Yeah, and they allow the floating licenses, but I don't think they allow the permit. The permit area has to be approved. Right. So it should comes outside. Yeah, this is the same place that they yeah, had the yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking it was out on the front right below the um, yeah. outer limits, but it is the same place as the Brewfest. The mogul course looks a little tough. It doesn't look like it's got a lot of snow on no. it. No. <laughs> Hopefully they can figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Parking lot looks empty, too. <laughs> they, the wish plus, it, they wish it looked that good. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> plus turn around. Okay. So let the uh, town clerk move forward with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a slightly redrafted resolution? Yes, basically yeah. um, the, the things that were changed um, from what the original one that was presented to you mm -hmm. are... These things in, in highlighted on the screen um, were the changes that were made. Um, basically, it was related to um, the fact that we planned to hire uh, a fire chief um, mm -hmm. and what the other officers, how they're laid out. And it was also some titles. It's, it's instead of officers, it says captains and lieutenants. Um, and the, the idea, we modified the language related to the 20% of a full-time firefighter, you can't exceed that, or they become employees, that they're not employees if they're under that 20%. So if you said you were gonna pay firefighters $20 an hour, that's $41,000. They can't make more than $8,000 in stipends or they become an employee. So- and this is approved? This was from our term. Okay. So this is, those are the changes from the resolution I had handed out to you the last time. So, do we have any problem paying the stipend over um, a s allocated amount based upon tax implications or not? No, because okay. the issue, the only issue we really were having is we were paying each of the volunteer firefighters directly um, versus, and and they were technically all members. Um, mm -hmm of the corporation, so we were kind yes, of skir skirting that issue. This is part of the cleanup that goes on with this. Um, if they get more than $600 in the stipends for the year, that's when they get a 1099. That's what it comes down to. Um, but overall, this is just the resolution to say, this is the framework of what we're gonna be doing that's great. as a fire department. So I don't know if you wanna read it into the record or that's a lot of reading. Yeah. <laughs> and this will be signed by all of you as well. <coughs> and uh, the chat was Kurt asking to have a yeah. copy of the resolution. Kurt, yes, you will be getting, you can get a copy. Actually, it's on the website right now. If you go to the calendar item, you can click on that and, and print it. I just want to make sure it's the fire chief shall be a full, shall be a full time employee of the town. Mm hmm. Okay. Pointed to a two year. So once we say full time, that gives benefits. That's correct. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm reading it. Yeah. That it's supposed to be that way because that's what we. And the second one is a part time was going to be a half time the way we have it budgeted. Right. 20 hours, which is not going to be getting right. benefits. And, five and then the two. rest are based on whatever our program we set up for stipends, re reimbursements. Right. Okay. Which you're saying the town manager has the right to revoke a suspension by a firefighter? Yeah, basically the firefighter, if they get suspended by the fire chief, the town manager gets Can involved, which it's all, I'm in charge of HR anyway, so it's just, okay. you know, how are we going to address that? Mm -hmm. Typically we would have talked about this ahead because we do have a, an employee policy we have to follow. So, okay. you know, and with the volunteers, we'll write that up, how that's going to be dealt with as well. Because because we're 1099 someone that they're not truly an employee. They're not unless they exceed that $8,000 threshold. Okay. So again, it's just for the volunteer. Correct. And ultimately the chief would still have control of that. That's correct. Not, not the town manager. 
of disciplining? Well, it's the, the chief would be the one to do the suspension. The town manager is responsible for the chief, and, and yeah. correct. So I'm talking about thing. suspension here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you talk about a firefighter and being dismissed or suspended, and the town manager has the right to. Well, basically, it's it's they have a right to appeal that to the town manager, and then we have a conversation and we figure that out. Okay. So the last in blue says. Resolve that the captains and lieutenants shall be volunteers appointed one year terms, and it is further resolved that an officer may be removed by the town manager for just cause after notice and hearing. But as I'm reading the different blue things, the first one is a chief, the second one's a deputy chief, the third one's a chief and deputy chief, and the last one is captains and lieutenants. There's nothing above that says officer or doesn't refer that an officer is a captain, a lieutenant. You know what I'm getting at, Gary? So, I mean, I'm seeing captains, lieutenants, I'm seeing deputy chief, I'm seeing chief, but then I see that an officer, which is not mentioned, so are they all considered officers? So, I mean, I would like to see that, the de you know, something that result an officer is one of the above or whatever, something. Just a clarification. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you can hand that back to Jim to... Yep. I mean... That's fine. Because then all of a sudden we sign this thing, Gary, and then they go, I'm not an officer, I'm a captain, I'm a lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> they are part of our officer structure, as in yeah. any paramilitary. Well, that's part of yours, but we're writing something up that, I mean, I don't see up above here anything that says the definition of what an officer is, and maybe that will show that right. maybe somewhere up here where it is, whatever, that an officer is a deputy chief, a, ch um, a yeah. chief. Yep. Captain and Lieutenant. Okay. We go from there. Everything else looks, mm -hmm. you know, because then it's funny because at the, on the oh, other the page, the, page the, the captains and lieutenants where they took, they crossed off officers. They, they crossed <laughs> off officers yeah. or whatever. And so now we made that, 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 that service volunteers, <laughs> officers, captains. So my, the, the my, lawyer just may not have picked up on yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's just going to be captains and lieutenants where it says officers. Yeah, and that I don't think the that's, whole problem. yeah. So <laughs> I think I think that page there, captains, yeah. lieutenants, and firefighters may, I think gets moved over to that yeah. section over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was good. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, you know, lawyers being so lawyers. <laughs> Take this for the time being. Yeah. You want to get it right before you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Traffic ordinance. Yeah. Well, it up. Kurt, you have any questions on what we just did? We tabled it. And then you'll get the copy of it. I don't think I must not have put that one up. So I gotta go can find it. Ask question. Tabled it until you get the typos. Until we get the typos, yeah. Yeah, it'll be on the April 11th. Okay. You're not signing it until April 11th. That's correct. Unless we have another meeting in between, we're not signing it tonight because we've got to get that changed. So. Okay. We may get it. We may get it changed and have something else to come up, and then have a meeting and then throw it in on it. So, Jim, it does say just above the blue, resolve that the officer shall consist of captains, two lieutenants. Well, yeah, we have a box there. Collectively, yeah. officers, right? No, what did I? Did I get no, on the other side. Yeah. No, no, right there, right above the blue, the first one. It says resolve that the officers of the Killington no. Fire Department shall consist of a chief, deputy chief, two captains, and two lieutenants. That's why he did it, because it's everybody is well, listed as an officer. Likely of officers who shall be appointed by the town manager. But then that kind of goes at the fire chief. I should chief. say the officers of the Killington Fire Department shall yeah. be defined as yeah. a chief. But then it also takes away, I'm figuring we're going to hire on a, 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 a chief and then should be, you know, we go through it, and Gary is the chief, let's say, and then, but that says, which shall be appointed by the town manager, and you ain't hiring. I mean, this is like the police chief gets to hire and comes to you. You sit in on the interviews and stuff, but in the end, it's the, the chief that says, I want this person, and 
unless you then go and do all the background check and say no. Right. Well, this is saying that the town manager technically hires the chief. Right. And then after, I mean, the, the town manager is ultimately responsible for all hires at the at the advice and recommendation of the department managers. It's typically, he's just putting the statutory language. I would agree. I think I don't think you want your chief just arbitrarily going off and hiring. Right, because the one thing I learned. People, so I think that it should. One thing I learned in that process when we were going through the police review mm -hmm. is the town manager really only has two things that they control as it comes to the police, and one is who all personnel, mm -hmm. and then all the budgetary stuff, not operations itself. I just know how this town works, and if and somebody reads that, be appointed by the town manager and getting something in there suggested or something or um, vetted by the, the, the fire chief. Upon recommendation of? Yeah, upon recommendation of the fire chief. You know, or collaboration be between the two of you. You could hire somebody, they, the fire chief is like. <sighs> well, I'm just saying, like, when you go by the VSA, he's, the, the rules say it's the town manager. No, no town manager is going to go do it without the approval. <laughs> And I just want to make sure that it's. Yeah, we'll I mean, clarify. I think it. you can clarify it. <laughs> but it just needs a couple of those little tiny things there okay. to make it. I, thanks, Jan. I couldn't read that because your names are on that box. <laughs> but it's still a little. So. Okay, so traffic coordinates. Well, it was requested that the traffic ordinance be on the agenda to look at, uh, like, speed limits and things of that nature on mm -hmm. Killington Road was one of the items. Mm -hmm. um, but as I went through the process, there is a couple of quasi-inconsistencies. Um, there's two locations where we have half the road is 25 miles an hour and the other half of the road is 35. East Mountain Road is one of those, and so is uh, River Road. They're both uh, 25s. Uh, 25 to the end of the paving on River Road, and then becomes 35. Which After? I think is crazy. Yes. And the then, dirt road is, the <laughs> dirt road's 35. <laughs> and, and I can't imagine doing 35 on that dirt road. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the other thing is, is the speed limit from, from the Grand to Bear Mountain is 25, and the, from there down is 35. I can't see doing I 35 know, down that sharp <laughs> turn. No so I'm just saying. So, <laughs> so if, if we're even going coming down by Spruce Glen, like after Bear Mountain Road. And then the other conversation was, should Killington Road, you know, be moved to a 30 mile an hour speed limit? Well, we have to move Killington to 30 miles according to this plan right. that we're going Yeah, through. with some of the things. So that's yeah. one. So while we're looking at this, the other thing that I noticed, and this is just the, the first review, um, when you go to the page with the, the traffic signals, which is like page four or five, there's three traffic signals listed as to what we're going to have that no longer exist. No longer exist. And we actually don't even have West Hill Road on there. So there's just some things we want to clean up in this ordinance yeah. when we go through this process. Um, this, because it's a, an amendment to an ordinance, will require a 30-day warning. Um, and then having a public hearing. And then at that 60 days after that, it becomes the rules. So in the in the plan with VHB, mm -hmm. there is a traffic light, I believe, that's going back up at Casey's Caboose mm -hmm. in the plan. Okay. We just have to verify that. We have to verify that and then Okay, and then we were trying and I and I believe we were trying to get one up by the mall, Killington Mall up there. Well the question but would be because if we change the configuration of the the intersection of East Mountain Road and Killington Road right. from a rotary, there'll be one there too. Right. So the question is, you know, do we want to put in the future ones, or do we amend this each year that we when we make the plan? And and basically, that's what we just need to know. But I, I mean, we could look at this like what I'm trying to do is prove to the Vepsi board that we're yep. serious about making changes to what they're recommending. Right. Mm -hmm. So the one is is that the Killington Road from 35 miles down to 30 miles an hour. And now while we're at it, everything on River Road should be 25, not 35 <laughs> on dirt road, 25 on pavement. Right. And then East Mountain Road, which East is Mountain called Roaring Brook yeah. East Roaring at Brook this time. East or whatever. Yeah. You know, it should, it should go to the 25. Right. So then it's just what we put in for signals, and then, and then if there's any other, because the other thing I wanted to do was send this off to Jim just to say, okay, is there any state laws that have changed in the last 20 years when this was last adopted to make sure 
Right. We're not violating any of that. Taking the three traffic signals off of this, putting West Hill Road in, and then having, a, and bef between now and the next meeting, we can have a conversation with VHB to see if we should be including the, uh, the Dean Hill Road one in there. So right now, I'm just going to say, um, giving the town manager direction to move forward with the traffic ordinance to change from River Road to all 25 miles an hour mm -hmm. to move Killington Road. It's not Access Road, I keep on being told from someone. It's Killington Road to 30 miles an hour from 35. Roaring Brook East, I think it is. Which is now is, East Mountain Road. Is East yeah, Mountain Road. Road, right, is going from 35 to 25. Yep. And if you can then at this, you know, start moving forward with that yep. and then move forward also looking into the traffic light with the configuration that we're doing with VHB. Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting this to be in next months. It's just that we're moving forward and you have that direction. But yep. we're definitely changing the this speed is, limits to those. This has obviously been amended. 1996. One, two, yeah, but it's been amended every five plus years. Yeah. Give or five years. So I think that we can amend it if we were to yeah. establish. I mean, technically, we could amend it and make just these minor corrections yeah. with the intention we could amend it again next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, we don't right. have yeah, to. Well, we're this doing is, the road, whatever. Right. I think so we when we actually have there. a plan and then say, okay, here's what we're, we're yeah. going to match our ordinance to what's coming. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so could, you have could, those three areas that we're talking about. And I'll fix about. the traffic light to the one we actually have and eliminate the other three. Yep. Right. And then I'll just see if there's anything else out there, and then we can have that meeting. And I'll, when I write the agenda for April 11th, we can put on there to warn the amendments to the traffic ordinance. Right. And then, you know, you can always delay that, but we would have it at least on the agenda. So if you wanted to, we could have it at the meeting in, in May. We have Wit on here. Is there anything that you have on this, Wit? Uh, not off the top of my head. I'll have, I'd have to. Uh read through it but i think absolutely the speed limit should be consistent in the road's entirety it shouldn't be split like east mountain road river, river road so at the very least yeah i certainly agree with that are we going in the right There's direction on east mountain the speed limit so okay, i just would want to read through that first are we going in the right direction on east mountain road from 35 to 25 yeah it certainly should not be raised yes okay so. This is 25 better than 30. Should we go 30 or 25? That's I guess where we're coming from. With yeah. this is the time. It's saying 30, 35 now, and the only reason why we're saying 30. 25 because it's part of it is 25. Right. It's 25 and 35. It's at 30. So if we go 30 on the whole thing, that would work as well. Yeah. So if you can make that mark to 30 on the whole thing. I, I would have to admit, 30 is a little bit easier going up some of the hills at East Mountain Road than. And 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 this was all relatively new, so we, I was going to send this to you tomorrow anyway, so we could have this conversation and have you review the whole thing, and if you have any comments about traffic. Wit, how do you feel about the Killington Road at 30? Um, I think the, I think the road's built for a lot faster. Whether it's safe moving forward, there's a lot more traffic than what we've certainly seen in the past year round. At 30 is definitely a slower speed. It's going to uh, definitely slow things down, I think. It's going to take a while for people to get used to the 30, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but moving forward with more development, more traffic, businesses levels are increasing. I think that's, uh, I wouldn't go lower than 30, that's for sure. Um, so I'm, I'm okay with 30. And, and, Whit, and we've been talking about, we're working towards uh, getting some upgraded electronic signs to Flash and do you guys know what signs I want? Yes, I want we the do. Chester signs. <laughs> yeah. Christmas time yeah. when you go and it's over your speed limit, it says naughty, and when you bring it in, it says nice. <laughs> That's what um, I want. <laughs> do I love going into yeah. that town. So the <laughs> end of the Killington Road or north end of the Killington Road between basically the woods and the bottom of the road where it's not so dense. Do we feel that that should be 35? I think that's you, that should go. To, that's well. Then you well, come into the bottom. I know you come in the bottom, yeah. but I'm saying you're asking people to slow at 30 miles an hour when there's nothing around them. Mm -hmm. Are we setting ourselves up for? I'm just asking the question. Well, well there's frequently. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, go ahead. There's frequently a patrolman at the bottom in the winter, 
as well as stop traffic at the bottom waiting to make turns. I, so I can definitely see an argument for keeping it 30 all the way down. Um, you know, so. Yeah, and, and the issue I that just, we have. I wonder if we're setting issues. people up though. I'm just, I'm concerned, on, are we setting up for failure because all of a sudden we're like, it's 30 miles an hour and there's nothing there. You don't have a sidewalk, you don't have. But we're moving, we're changing now. Well, that's the, 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 the ultimate you know, We're going to have to change this. We're going to amend this every year. Yeah. I'm just saying, uh, what are we? Why don't we do 30 and then see what complaints we get? Okay. All right. I would, I would like to try to keep it consistent just yep. for ease of enforcement, too, so people can't have that excuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also, if there is a switch that needs to be properly posted, I don't have those statutes in front of it. There has to be. Like, I'm not even sure if East Mountain Road is posted properly as far as enough warning for the speed limit change. Shh. Well, we did put the reduced, sure we, we did do the, the, the MUTCD thing, which was how many feet before where you put a reduced speed ahead. But I don't know if they're still, I also don't know if they're still there. <laughs> so we're going to go with this starting yeah, yeah. at those changes. Just move and, it then, 30 and, and then And then you want it on the April 30th or yeah. whatever? Oh, well, April, April 11th. 11th, we'll warn it for a May meeting. For a May meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, and then at least we could also show Vepsi that we mm -hmm. are taking mm -hmm. the steps in May for the killing Great. The road. All right. Just one comment. If we do change the speed limit, we should put what the speed limit is under those electronic signs, the one that's up mm -hmm. north of the basin or south 100%. of the basin doesn't have one. You take that, Chet? The consideration? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yep. No, it, it needs yes, to have that because you got to have a big, you actually have to have a slightly oversized speed limit sign on the bottom with the speed that you're driving and then and then the, the message and you want the blue lights flashing and the whole. Right, so, right. Naughty and nice. Naughty, uh, we'll see if we can get the naughty and nice yeah. one in there. But it, it doesn't say what the speed limit is. It just says what you're, you're going. <laughs> no, right. 60. Yeah, no, it, it'll say that. Because it doesn't work if you don't say that, <laughs> realistically. No, I just couldn't find my treasurer's report. Okay. <laughs> well, the golf financials? Well, we brought the, the revised um, mm -hmm. treasurer's report to the yep. select board at their at your request. Um, basically, there was, on the golf side, there was uh, some things that had been combined together under the receipts, which was the transfer from the town for the bond payment and the transfer from the town for capital contribution those are not technically revenue receipts of the golf course so we broke those out so that the 750,000 is the actual revenue from the golf course from June 1st through now uh, with the the broken out pieces it didn't change any of the the net totals it was a reporting change mm -hmm. okay. so I don't know if you have any additional questions this is what I'm looking for so if we could Motion to accept the treasurer's report for February. Second. Anything else needed? No. Mark had shown me this Here's during, the right? You know, I. And the other item that was requested um, at the last meeting, and, and Mark is here to to talk about it, is the um, the projected cash flow for the golf course. Mm -hmm. um, was so this is where we asked in the beginning for how much money we had and to get us from december through april correct so we knew how much money we could say they were going to be paying towards the bond or whatever else from there and we, you know I, I think you wrote it up great but if you just want to give a little overview mark yeah it's it's based on where we were on december 10th uh, and then in total cash balance and then carving out the, the restricted funds for capital uh, and that's why so so really the cash flow available for operations was 338 on December 10th um, we used the budget to predict our expenses going forward through April and so we projected at the end of April we'd have we'd be at 146 K in cash balance we're tracking just about very close to that, actually 5,000 of the good. 
no surprises. I looked at March uh, uh, earlier today. There's no surprises. We're on track with March expenses. So as long as we uh, continue on, on this course for April, we'll be in good shape to, to start the season. Hopefully the, the, the need will be less for that operating loan. And typically your needs are only for the month of potentially May or June, correct? Depending on how we how, yeah, how quickly we get out of the gate when yep. they open, uh, but yeah, it's about really making it in into uh, that fat portion of May. Yep. When business picks up for all for all of us. Yep. That's been the last three years. <laughs> prior was three or four years prior. This golf course prior, like six years ago. This golf course wasn't showing a positive number until July or August. Yeah, no, it's definitely going a better trend. Right. We're on now. So, and that's all I wanted to see here is as long as we're following a trend, we gave something in December. You know, we're coming into. Nothing's April. happened over the winter to to just making to sure make that there's nothing there. The, the number isn't still. We made the right move of adopting the budget for yeah. whatever. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. And the other item is the uh, the loan, the, the actual loan that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, as we did last year, it's for $250,000. It's 2.5%. Um, it gets paid off in December, if and it's only what we use that we pay for. And what I'm looking for, because this is the way we did it last year, is the select board to authorize the town manager to sign the document so that we can move forward with having that line of credit. So you need a motion to allow the town manager to sign the document for a line of credit? Yes. It really is a two two up to a line of, of $250,000 with which bank? Mascoma. Uh, Mascoma Bank at 2.5% for the golf course. Yep. Um, so moved. Okay. We don't need to change anything on there. No, that's just yeah. that's just yep. the loan documents sure. that I can sign after this. All in favor? Aye. 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 Last year we borrowed a hundred. A hundred. Yeah. So are you going to uh, your oh, report? Want to go to me? Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll start with a couple of driveway permits. And I have one for Brian Olson. It's a driveway on Alran Road. It's right there near the beginning of the road. It's it all meets the requirements. There's nothing special to do. I uh, just need a motion to approve the driveway permit. Motion for the town manager to move forward with the well, driveway you, permit. You guys for, that too. And you're all, um, your agreement with culverts and everything yeah. else going in. Because we require 18 and there's nothing okay. required large. The only time we comment is if, okay, we have like a 24 above it that we know is going to be feeding in that we ask to increase. Mm -hmm. We require the increase of size and things like that. But there's nothing there that's... Good. Okay. Chet, has to, Chet went out and looked at these things and Ricky, mm -hmm. so... This is um, for Aaron Jordan, another driveway permit. It's actually on Little Sherburn Road, up in up in the uh, okay. Great uh, Mm-hmm. No, nope. I have that wrong. Sorry. Did I do that fast backwards? I just make believe it's the same. Yeah, that's the little. You just signed the Little Sherburn. So we. <laughs> this is the Alran Road one. Okay. <laughs> So this is so what's going on up there. The Alran Road. They, there's another um, driveway permit application for TH23. Um, it's for property. The span number is 11624. Um, Mosher is doing the work to to build the permit, and we do not have any issues with this. Um, it's it is on a Class Four road. Mm -hmm. Motion for the okay. town manager to move forward. With yep. Two. Oh, what are our signatures? All right. Thank you. Um, two equipment purchases were that are budgeted for this year. One is the loader replacement. Um, the loader. I did not put these on the screen. Um, we have a budget of twenty thousand six twenty eight for the the loader uh, annual payments. It's a seven year lease. Uh, which is the same as what we did with the last one and this came in almost exactly the same but this time we're getting a jib boom on the front which is when we do our lifting rather than trying to do it over a bucket we're going to do it 
um, it's a lot safer to do. So it'll actually go up to 21,468. It's well within reason on the budget and we want to move forward with that purchase. Right? We would probably get this sometime later. This is that one. That's my note. And it's basically a, an in-kind replacement for the loader we have now. Is there any market to sell the loader we have? We're getting $75,000 oh, on the trade. Trade it. Okay. Which is How many hours are on it? 4000 Just curious. <laughs> I know, because you're shopping, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you need a motion to move forward on a 2022 new Caterpillar 926M wheel loader. Yeah. By the specs on this page too. Yeah. The $75,000 less um, 2014 Caterpillar trade-in. Yep. For a net of $121,000. Um, and add the $6,500 for the additional jib bone. Yep. So it's $126,500 total. Right. Make a motion to go ahead. Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. And we're leasing this. Yeah, we're leasing it. Actually, the, the actual, what I call construction equipment, we've been doing leases for, and the trucks we're buying cash now. Right. So, so my, I guess my, we own the current loader we have right now. Correct. Okay. We've been having, we've been starting to spend real money on it. And typically we try to keep it in, this is, we try to keep them right in that eight, nine year, Rotation, if we can. What do we pay for the original one? Do you have any idea? It was in the 160 range. I want to say 150. I mean, <clears throat> to own it outright, you'd be paying 28,000. Right. So you know, you know, we're not going to have. We're going to do this for seven years. Right. We're not going to have any residual value. We have right now 75,000 residual oh, value. We're going to have that. Those are you own it at the end. You own it at the end of seven. This, this is the same lease we're, we just did. Okay. So it's lease to purchase. It's lease, lease. lease. Well, okay. they call it a lease. It's a yeah. lease. You own it at the end for a dollar. That's different. Okay. No, we own that. We will have Very residual. Good. Thank you. That's better. Yeah, because then we don't have zero. Yeah, that's right. what I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah, no, we won't have zero. <laughs> well, they tell you you want it. You have to pay $75,000 for it. <laughs> So the other piece of equipment is the replacement of the mower. The mower is a 2011. Last year, as everybody's aware, we spent quite a bit of the summer without a mower. This is the tractor. This is the tractor with the, the, side, the this roadside mower. Um, that machine was probably a little bit light gauge for what we were doing, and it was also an aftermarket mower that was put on it. So we ran into a lot of issues with compatibility and problems with that. This is a new Kubota. Uh, mower with the mower deck that's actually designed for the system. Surprisingly, how much the price has gone up for these particular machines. Mm -hmm. um, when I had budgeted this, we were using the other number through inflation factors, and we had budgeted uh, 15364 Right now, while we're waiting for the, re the, the actual value on our current thing, our current uh, mower, um, We'd be looking at twenty-eight thousand dollars without any trade, and it's probably going to be somewhere between twenty-four and twenty-six thousand. There's about three of them available at this point, so I'm asking for the select board to go. We know we're about eight or nine thousand high. Our we have our fund for the for the capital financing is is well within reason to take that eight or nine thousand dollars. But I believe I'm going to have an answer by this Friday as to what the actual price is going to be and we could have the mower in early june because these are on the ground so we don't i just i'm afraid to not to not jump on it mm -hmm. so you need a motion to move forward for not to exceed that is this a lease or a purchase that's a lease to own lease same to own. thing you need a motion so a motion to allow the town manager to move forward with a lease to own a 2022 Are you yes. buying that through mower um there's we're, it's between Salem Farm and um, who's town that line. one? Not no, it's not Townline. It's the other one. Townline didn't. We couldn't get anything from them. CLFP. Yeah. Well, that's a it's a <coughs> purchasing group that's doing that. Champlain Equipment. Sorry. Okay, so a motion for the town manager to move forward on a new mower. Um, lease to own. That's a picture not of to exceed twenty nine. <laughs> no, not to exceed twenty nine thousand dollars. Right. This is twenty eight thousand nine seventy one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Aye
Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. um, I have a staff update. Um, last week, we had a meeting with uh, a planner um, for the position of the, of the town planner. Um, we met with our group, which was the, the chair of the planning commission, uh, the zoning administrator, <laughs> and our current planning consultant. <laughs> <laughs> um, to have a conversation and it was unanimous that we wanted to make him an offer we did and he is starting this Wednesday um, so we're going to be moving forward with and his, our name plan is his name is Daryl Arminius he Arminius. was the former town planner of Charlotte Charlotte he lives in South Burlington right and he's going to be working uh, part remote part here to begin with until everybody's together and then he said he would be relocating as we move forward and then since I'm in there on the short-term rental and until he gets comfortable whatever mm -hmm. um, I'm in there on Monday Tuesdays and Friday afternoons and Daryl will make sure that he's here Wednesday Thursday and Friday, Friday. Right. Mm -hmm. so there will be somebody at the desk at all times yep. mm -hmm. and um, you know he'll get used to it and then he'll take over the whole planning side and I'll stick with the short-term rental mm -hmm. and, um, and go from there great great very good I um, wanted to give you a quick guardrail update and then request the uh, authorization to sign the agreement um, we have gotten the prices for this year we have a new guardrail to put on schoolhouse road uh, a significant amount of guardrail that needs to be replaced on East Mountain Road um, between the upper part and the lower part where paving is happening and now they're too low and it, mm -hmm. it's actually There's a lot most of, of the it's most too. yes most of the guardrail cost is going to be on East Mountain Road um, and the the total quote is fifty thousand four hundred and twenty nine dollars currently in our guardrail uh, reserve fund we have thirty six thousand four seventy four with the budgeted amount that's going into it of 38749 so technically as of July 1 we have 75223 this will happen right about the time of the year and they are going to bill us like half before the end of the year and half after so we would then still have $25,000 in the guardrail budget after this completing these projects the well, motion for the town manager to move forward Lafayette mm -hmm. for guardrails okay second All right. All right. And just so Chris knows too, we've done it in the past where guardrails are a safety issue. So it doesn't if, if the money's not in that mm -hmm. line, we're doing it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the solar equipment financing. These are for the two canopies. We had when we were all along when we've been working through that process, we were looking at using the financing that was tied to the state Vita Vermont Economic Development. Um, uh, going back and forth with them. We were only able to get the terms down to 4.1 percent, and it's a variable rate loan. Wow, um, which was not very desirable. <laughs> so I've reached out. We actually are, we paid for those last month, but we've reached out to Mascoma to, to ask what they would do. And what I had asked for was a seven-year a seven-year term with a 15-year amortization um, for the payments, which is what works on our, our payback program. And this is at 2.8 percent. I don't have those documents yet. They're going to be coming this week. Um, but I would like to move forward with that with the goal of next budget year starting to put $10,000 in each of the two reserve funds to pay so we can actually build up the money so at the end of that seven years we could actually pay that off. So the one that was at 4.1% was how many years? 15. It was 15 years also. Well, it was 15 years, but after five years it was annually adjusted. Okay. Yeah, so it was a five-year arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just this was a cap on the arm, and we can re we can just refinance, or they'll do the whole fifteen years. I was just thinking in terms of paying it off sooner. It's you know we can do it either way, but just that was my what goal. What's the rate for fifteen years? I think it's around. It's probably a little higher than that. Like what? Well, I I don't know. I didn't get that answer. Can you find that out? Because yep. I'd rather lock us in with the way interest rates are going. That we get a 15 year. If it's they're saying 15 mm -hmm. fixed for seven. It's a balloon payment at seven. At seven, right? And you're gonna have to refinance it again anyway. Or, or pay it off. Like I was I was worried about I was worried about the the, the the financing rates as well. Which is why I'm like, well, if we throw an extra 20 grand a year at this, we could be done at the seven years. Yeah, but then you have taxpayers are like saying, you, you, well, I understand. You're going for the 15 so I, I will ask that question and see what the rate is. You know, and we'll so maybe we can get that answer 
and the change from Jim Barlow and mm -hmm. have a little quick meeting or whatever okay. and get those two out of the way yep. before the next one so we can get, you know, move these away. Yep, I can do that. Okay. Because on the seven-year pay, but what was the what was the what was the balloon at seven years? I didn't get all. Like she gave me was the terms at this point. She, they were doing the, the calculations for it. So I'd rather see you seven do. years. You're going to be two thirds. It's, it's two hundred four thousand is the total. Yeah, but you're going to have most most of the first three or four years is it's all interest. interest. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to redo it again when you do that. That's fine. We'll we'll mm -hmm. we'll look at it. I can I can do that. All right. So yeah, I was looking at just not having to finance that far. You know, that was the goal. But we can. That's no problem. Yeah. And that's so all I have for the manager. So Vita's rate was higher. Was much higher. And they mm -hmm. they only held the rate for five years. Right. Mm -hmm. And there yeah. was no cap on what they would go. It was a half percent a year, and there was a there wasn't a cap that I remember seeing. I'd have to go back and look. That was I read that a couple few weeks ago. Yeah. yeah so it was like a fifteen five. Five-year ARM for 15 years, with so it technically mm -hmm. go up a half a percent a year. You know, after that. Sometimes they have how many times it can go up over the. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so like a 15. Well, I'll bring, five, I'll bring you the three. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you still have that option. But 4.1 is already too high from the beginning. Right. I mean, if they come, how much did this bank come in for five, for the seven? Two two point eight. Two point eight. Two point eight, and they might be at like three and a quarter or three and an eighth for the right. full 15. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're borrowing two hundred grand, two hundred four. Yeah, you yeah. want to be a town if you're borrowing money right now. So if you can just get that, and then maybe yep. we can do it with the other thing, so we can get them moving. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And that is all I have for town manager's report. Well, we have some guys that came in. I'm sure this would be a perfect time. There's other business. No, no, oh, you. No, they're just okay listening. Yeah. They're just He's listening. Just checking out the new buildings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, executive session, just personnel and contracts or whatever. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Motion to go into executive session at 7:24 for um, personnel and contracts. And before I say that, is we'll start recording. Before we vote on, it, is there anybody? Jerry, you came in. Do you want you have anything, Jerry Russell? You good? I guess she's good. Recording Kurt? in progress. Kurt, you're mute. Only that uh, I think 30 miles an hour is going to be awfully hard. I can't hardly do 35, so let's hope it works. Okay, <laughs> I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> As you get older, you get a heavier <laughs> foot. <laughs> Kurt, do you have anything? Kurt's already gone. He's gone. Jim and Jan. Jan just, just left. Gone. See if we can do it. Wit, do you have anything? <laughs> Wit. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. So. No, I don't have anything. So okay. go into executive session at seven twenty-four.